Hello there, Pisces. Um, I feel like this is going to be a relatively uh, good reading um, based on the cards and the energies that have come out so far and based on what I'm seeing, okay? So uh, let's get right into it. So first of all, um, I don't know if... Uh, well, I did the Aquarius reading yesterday and um, with the Aquarius reading, I got a, a lotus flower um, coming to life and, you know, shooting out or, or growing out of really like a, a, a really murky pond okay for you guys i got a very similar image and um i see a sidewalk okay uh, um it's it's paved over with concrete uh, pavement concrete and there's a crack on the sidewalk and i see a purple flower some type of a purple uh wild flower that has grown out of this crack uh, this crevice in the sidewalk okay and so the energy and the feelings and the sentiments and the messages that accompany this uh, flower or this image is very similar to the Aquarius reading and it's all about you know hardship builds character it's all about overcoming all odds like against all odds you have succeeded okay what are the odds that a flower would be able to find, you know, the whatever nutrients, whatever footing that it could get into in order to um, spring to life uh, from the concrete. Okay, so I, I do feel like um, this is a message about hope. This is about finding hope or, or finding resources or finding. Um, Finding an opportunity in all the unlike, like the most unlikely place, and this is about resilience, and this is all, all about you know, uh, whatever you really put your heart, sweat, and tears into, it's going to come to fruition. Okay, so I feel like this is a message of hope for many of you. If you have been going through some hardships, if you have been frustrated, or I feel like despair, if you feel like life has been you know, uh, throwing you one curveball after another and, 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 you know, life might have felt very much like that sidewalk, very hard, okay? Then I feel like there's a breakthrough, there's a imminent uh, change for the better for you guys, okay? It doesn't mean to kind of like sit back and coast. It basically means you have put in the work and it's your time to kind of like emerge from... Uh, emerge into the spotlight and you know have your day under the sun and be recognized and be visible and be seen and to also you know bask in that sunlight okay so I have really really wonderful messages coming through so um, I want to talk about a few things here I feel like the the messages are kind of like this yeah I feel like they're kind of like this okay this is where you are and this is basically um, your energy and how you embody this energy and how you are pretty much the catalyst for change in your own life okay so let me talk about this and you could be male or female watching this it doesn't matter the gender the cards are not gender specific so I just want to emphasize that okay we have here the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands okay and um, what I feel is happening here is um, there will be many opportunities throughout the month of March for sitting back and celebrating. And at the same time, there will be many opportunities coming through to signal to you, here's an opportunity, here's a chance, here's a once in a lifetime opportunity for you to kind of like grab life by the horns and to get things moving for yourself. So I feel like dotting the landscape in the month of March, it's all about, you know, fe festivities, uh, having a really good time, being able to enjoy yourself, but at the same time, being very proactive and productive when it comes to your work. I do feel, you know, like this is water and fire. So it's kind of like opposing energy, push and pull. There's never enough time in the day. There is uh, one minute you're just like, oh, I really want to relax. I want to, you know, catch up with friends. But then opportunities for work, opportunities to make money, opportunities to increase your earnings. 
uh, will be kind of like knocking at your door and so you kind of have to figure out you know what's more important here and especially what do I need right now what is more like what what is more top priority for me in this present moment okay so opportunities to make money opportunities to increase your income opportunities for others to kind of like solicit you to either do projects for them to do commission for them to handle their portfolios to handle their clients to handle things that um, they might not be able to do as well as you can and as a result of it I feel like there will be many many Apple opportunities for you at work or even on uh, with side gigs or even like whatever it is that you're dabbling in I feel that is really going to uh, enhance and increase your visibility okay so we have some really major um, we have four major arcana cards that are, that are coming into the picture and I feel like with this card it's all about visibility it's about fame and fortune it's about getting recognized um, being in the spotlight having that spotlight exclusively on you where you are kind of given an opportunity to shine so I do feel you're very visible in this month of March and I feel like whatever you do, whatever you say, a lot of people will take heed, a lot of pe people will listen to you. And at the same time, I feel like, you know, you have a lot of drive and ambition and energy in order to get things started for yourself, okay? This is a, a pretty great month for those of you who have been trying to catch that big break, okay? Especially in modeling, in acting, voice acting, in even like creative projects. Uh, publishing, uh, writing an article, writing a book, writing for a newspaper, or get, like somehow, you know, wanting to gain traction, wanting to have that, um, to, to have that big break. I feel like for many of you, especially in the creative field, this is the month where you're going to get some major reckoning, some major big break, and it's going to come through with a lot of visibility okay so for example if you're hoping to get something published you know I feel like not only will you get published but I feel like there might be like a TV personality or someone who's very famous who's promoting your products okay and I feel like for those of you who are like artists and you're kind of low scale, you're operating from your own art studio or out, out of your garage and you have a website, I feel like somebody is doing the promotion for you. Somebody who likes your work, who admires what they or they, they really like what they see and they might plug in for you in some capacity so that you can gain a lot more viewership, so that you can gain a lot more clients or so that you are a lot more visible, visible in, in public. So I feel like there's, you know, some divine intervention uh, working through people, working behind the scenes so that you can get uh, your, your time in the sun and you can, you know, um, be in the limelight, okay? Um, so let, let me just talk about a, another thing here. I feel like for many of you, uh, work within the past few years, okay, um, has been a drudgery, has been a, a little bit difficult. I'm seeing um, for many of you, many of you, majority, um, I feel like whatever the amount that of work that you put in, I feel almost like you're looking at your um, salary or you're looking at your paycheck at the end of the month or every month and you're just like, I wish I could make more, I wish I could earn more, I wish that, you know, finances wasn't so hard, I wish I didn't have to nickel and dime myself, I wish I could, you know, make the money that I, I feel like I'm worth, or even make more money so that I can take care of the people that I love. So I feel like finances and work and, and things like that, it has been a little bit rough for many of you. You're, you're feeling like you're underemployed. You're feeling like you're not really happy with your work. You're feeling uninspired and you're feeling like it's not a good fit for you. And so what I have here is the devil. And this is pretty much, you know, going through the motions, uh, being tied and indebted to something where we don't really feel a way out. We have to, you know, go to the nine to five. We have to um, be able to, to put one foot in front of the other and just, you know, show up to work because it's a paycheck, it's a livelihood, it's a way of life. And because we make need to make the bills, because we're an adult, because we need to be responsible. So you have all of these obligations kind of weighing out, on, uh, weighing down on you. And I feel like 
you were going through the motions. Uh, you were trying to make ends meet. You were trying to, you know, take care of the people you love, and and the job or the 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 position allowed you to do that. But beyond that, I feel like it didn't make your soul sing in any way. It didn't make you feel good being in this job. Okay, so it was like a financially motivated、um, decision. You're staying in this job, or you're at this job, and I feel like for many of you, you might have multiple side gigs. And I, I especially see a lot of artists, a lot of people in the creative、uh, profession. I'm also seeing somebody who might be like making costumes,、um, making something very elaborate, like for a play. You're selling it. Um, I feel like you know rhinestones, encrusted sequins. I'm seeing like you're making some really, really beautiful art pieces. Either it's clothing, either it's on canvas, or either it's on like paper. You're you have some side gigs, and I feel like you are able to sell a little bit here and there. But you know, at the end of the day, it didn't pay the bills. It wasn't something that you could do full time because it was not capable. Like it, it's 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 not viable to pay the bills for you. And I feel like for some of you who might be in the、um, creative profession, you might have been straddling two jobs or juggling two jobs. I feel like you have some type of a breakthrough coming through where you will get recognition. You will be promoted. You will get like a plug from somebody that has a wide following, and as a result, I do sense that it's really going to increase your visibility, and it will、um, help tremendously with these financial, you know,、um, obligations that you've been struggling with. Okay, so I do feel a.、Uh, uh, An uptick in your popularity in、uh, the de- the products that people demand from you, or even being able to sell, being able able to move products from one place to the next. Okay, so we have some really beautiful things coming through, especially if you have been struggling financially. Okay,、uh, what I'm seeing as well is a very strong message here about being patient. Okay, being、uh, diligent and being patient. So this is kind of like.、Um, Do your job and do it well, okay.、Uh, regardless of how busy you are, regardless of who's demanding what, you want to make sure that you treat each item, each thing that you create, with care. So whatever it is that you create, whatever that you're bringing forth into the world, make sure that you spend the the time, the resources, to do it ac- adequately and to do it right. So it's like don't shortchange the customers, don't shortchange the people that are paying for your goods and your services because I do feel there's a lot here、uh, to be said about、um, like a, a karmic rebalancing, and so they're they're saying you know it's it's it might be cheaper sometimes to cut corners, you might not have the time, you might have not have the resources, and so you're just kind of like、um, thinking about you know. Well, if I do this, no one's gonna know. But like, I feel like there is some type of a, a divine sense of what is wrong and what is right, and、um, you are paid for a service, and you need to render that service to the best of your capability, regardless of who's paying. Does that make sense? So I feel like there's a lot here about you know having a lot of respect for the craft that you do and the things that you do and the things that you create and the things you bring forth. Into the world. Once you come into the sense of appreciation, that you know what, I、um, I put a lot of my heart, sweat, and tears into this. And so, whatever the money that you're demanding, I feel that somebody will step up and buy it and pay that amount because they know it's worthy. Whereas if you cut corners on an energetic level, it's like you didn't put in that much work, and so. In a karmic way, I feel like you know the the buyer might not be there. Okay, so I just want to kind of put that out there because I do feel there might be a little bit of a time crunch, and you're just like, where can I cut corners? Where can I trim down on expenses? Where can I?、Um, Where can I、uh, speed up the process? And I feel like you know, just make sure the the end result or the quality does not get compromised、um, in the process. All right. Um, so once again, we have here the you you are ending with the four major arcana cards in the deck. We have the star, the sun, the devil, and the temperance card. Okay, so let me talk about the luminaries. Whenever I see luminaries, sun, moon, stars, okay, 
the star and the sun. Um, this is pretty much your time has come, okay? Um, this is about divine timing, and this is also about planetary placements, okay? The All the things have to, it's like all the cogs in the machine have to start turning in order for the, the whole machine, the big machine, the big engine, to be awoken and to be, you know, brought to life to create something. And so whatever you were doing, you were drudging along. You were just like, am I on the right path? You were just wondering, you know, is this the right thing for me to do? How much longer is it going to take? I feel like the month of March is going to bring about some type of a major confirmation for you, telling you that the time is now, telling you that the big engine is now heated up and warmed up and it's ready to produce. And so I feel like, you know, whatever has been stalling you or whatever you have been waiting for, it wasn't the right time in the past. And I feel like a lot of the, the waiting process um, allowed you to go back to the drawing board, go back and tweak things, go back and fix things, go back and perfect your technique, go back and, you know, do whatever it is that you need it to do so that you can produce things on a large scale, so that you can replicate, so that everything that you make, you know how to replicate it, you know how to recreate it, and so things are not arbitrary. Everything is um, standardized, everything has a method, everything will, it, it's like you made this picture and somebody bought the picture and somebody else wants a replica, and you're just like, well, I can't recreate that. Well, I feel like all all the waiting, all the preliminary things that you have to do is teaching you how to master something so that if, you know, the market is, is high for a certain product, you're able to fill that niche and you're able to create that product based on these specifications of whoever it is that's buying. So I feel like, you know, the, the, the work was put in, there was delay, there was stoppage. And now the engine is moving and so is the direction of your life. And so whatever it was that was holding you back, keeping you very stuck, and you've been very patient. You've been like, when is my time going to come? When is this going to come into the picture for me? I feel that the month of March is going to be that green light, flashing green light telling you that the time is now and it is time for you to move forward, to move forward with a plan to launch that uh, website, to seek that new job, to start a new job, to, you know, put up that website or even um, get that business license. So I feel like the time is now, all right? Um, for some of you, I do feel there might be some legal issues. And when it comes to legal issues, there could be a myriad of things, okay? But what I do sense is um, I feel like rights and ownership, like a patent, for example, um, it's like one person is like, oh, I created this. And then the other person like, no, I did. And so there's like some issues when it comes to like who owns what, intellectual property, patent, um, creative pro like uh, creative outputs. So somebody might be disputing. Wait a minute, that's mine. You you um, you took my idea or you took something that belonged to me, and then you built upon it. So I should get some type of a tribute or some type of a royalty fee. And so I feel like if there has been you know bickering back and forth arguments and like uh, um, issues when it comes to like legal contracts, legality, even ownership of things, who owns what, and how to divide up assets and how to divide up uh, resources in a way that is fair. I feel like you're reaching a very, very good resolution and at least a very good settlement, okay? I feel like whatever the outcome is, we are ending up with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Cups is all about emotional happiness. So whatever it is that you're striving for, if um, it has been like a long-standing legal issue, over ownership, children even, houses, property, dividing up assets, intellectual property. I feel like there there is going to be a very, very good resolution. So even if two people are facing in different directions and not really seeing eye to eye, there is going to be some type of a mediator coming in between in order to get people on the same page and you're going to have a very good legal outcome that you've been waiting on, okay? so. 
while all of this is happening, you might have been thinking about worst case scenario. You might have been thinking like, you know, what if um, I- I'm not rewarded or compensated? Or maybe I should, you know, uh, be aggressive about appealing or be aggressive about, you know, hiring counsel that will really fight on my behalf. I feel like that stuff might not be necessary because the month of March, when especially when we are in your sign, Pisces, um, I feel like there's a calmness over, um, there's a calmness here coming into the picture where things will be righted, where, you know, whatever has been unjust and unfair and has been very laden with conflict and trouble, whatever that situation is, I feel like it's dwindling and it's going to have a very favorable outcome for you. And I do sense as well with this Ten of Cups, emotional happiness and the star card, getting your wish fulfilled. I feel like you are wedged in between these two very amazingly good cards. And so you're going to be on cloud nine. You're going to be very happy. You're going to be in a celebratory uh, sigh of relief type of an energy where I feel like it's a final conclusion to something that has been long standing, very drawn out, very slow. There was no progress. Whatever it is, there is a resolution. And I do feel that the resolution is going to be in your favor and it's been something that you've been thinking about. It's been plaguing your thoughts. Um, You might have been very worried and concerned over it. And I feel like it's finally coming to a resolution, okay? Um, I see many of you, you have a second, it's like you have an extra battery pack, okay? Um, You have a lot of drive and ambition to get things going. I do sense for many of you, um, you're not taking things lying down. And I feel this assertiveness, it's not an aggressive energy. It's more like an assertiveness coming over, coming over you, where you are very, very clear about, you know, your intentions, about what you want, what you expect from other people. You're very good about, you know, um, not letting them kind of like um, walk all over you, encroach upon your space, make demands of you that are unreasonable, or even taking you for a ride. So I feel like you're going to be a lot more skeptical. This is like assessing, kind of like, mm-hmm, go ahead, uh, tell me more, before you make up your mind. And I feel like in the past, you might have been like this, you know, uh, everything is fine. It's like whatever will be, will be. This is a very chill and laid back energy. And Queen of Cups, okay? The energy that you embody now, it's like, it's somebody who is a lot more assertive. It's somebody who is a lot more like, I'm going to start to put me first. I'm going to start to take care of me. I'm going to look at everything that you're saying and everything that you're telling me uh, skeptically. I'm going to ask follow-up questions. I don't want to be duped. And I don't want to be taken for a ride. I don't want to be taken advantage of. And I want to get things going and get life started for myself. So I see a major switcheroo. And especially in that time frame when the sun shifts sign. Okay, so like around the 20th and the 21st. Um, March 20th to 21st, we are switching from Pisces to Aries. I feel like there's some um, major... Um, decisions or major uh, turning over like a new leaf that's going to be happening around that time we have the Sun here with it which indicates um, the, the solar return or the solar change between Pisces and Aries and I feel like those uh, days will be very um, revealing and then I also feel that those days there's something major that's going to be coming into the picture that will really flip the script for many of you for the better okay so keep your eyes out um, for those dates like especially the 20th of March and the 21st okay when we switch signs Um, The other thing that I'm sensing as well is for many of you, especially if you are dealing with a fire sign or even an Aquarius or a Capricorn. So um, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Aquarius and Capricorn. I feel like there might have been a relationship here where things were not balanced. Okay, the justice card is about fairness. It's about balance. It's about reciprocity. And I feel like there was a situation that was very one sided. And I also feel like with the five of wands, this is sort of like the emotional tipping of the scale was very off, okay? So I feel like um, there might've been conflict. There might've been a lot of indecisiveness from your end about 
where this relationship is headed. Where are we going?、Uh, what what are we? What is going to happen to us? And you know, is this going to be long term? Is this a fling? Is this a marriage potential? Is this long term? Are we dating? Are we just you know casually seeing each other? Are we broken up? So I feel like there might have been a lot of concerns or a lot of questions regarding the status of a relationship. I feel like you felt that somebody had a lot of options. We have here. The Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Cups is all about like somebody who's quite popular.、Um, they have a lot of friends,、um, possibly. So, for example, if you're in a heterosexual relationship, right? They have、um, the person you're with has a lot of friends of the opposite gender, and so you're not really sure if they're dating their friends. You're not really sure if that's really a friend or it's somebody they're dating. They're constantly surrounded by the opposite sex, and then likewise, if you're in a、uh, homosexual relationship. I feel like the person that you're with, they have a lot of suitors. They have a lot of like same-sex, you know, friends around them, and so there is a perception here that somebody is not serious, that somebody is not monogamous, or somebody is not taking a relationship seriously. And I feel like you might have doubted the intention of this person. You might feel like they have a lot of options. You might not really. Want to put all your eggs in one basket with this person, or even reveal how you feel about this person because you feel like they're not taking you seriously. So I do sense a situation where both parties, you know, ten of cups, both parties really like one another. This is a really strong soul connection. You really, really like the other person, but both parties, it's, it's a mirroring energy. You might feel like they have a lot of options. They might feel like you have a lot, a lot of options. So both parties are playing it cool and、uh, not wanting to push for ex- exclusivity, not wanting to push for a long-term committed relationship. But I feel like the month of March, something is breaking open that will allow the two of you to kind of see each other、uh, face to face or like see eye to eye and to be able to be on the same wavelength when it comes to making decisions. About this relationship, and I feel like there is an expression or an outpouring of love that will be coming in very strongly, and it's going to make you so happy, Pisces. I'm so happy to see this card for you. Look how ecstatic! It's like it's not even joy or contentment. It's just like ecstasy. Okay, it's um, it's a really really good feeling, where you feel really in your element. You feel on top of the world. You feel like. You know, ego inflation. Okay, not in a bad way at all, but I feel that it's much deserved. You feel like you're on cloud nine, like Nirvana, cloud nine, and nothing can pop your bubble. Okay, so I, I do sense that there is an outpouring here where love life is going really well. Finances are starting to pick up. You're getting some major recognition. If for those of you in a freelance、um, type of a profession, or even like in the creative field, and you're trying to get、um, your name out there, I feel like there's a lot of recognition. There's a lot of breakthroughs coming into the picture. Okay, but more importantly, there is this、um, recovery. It's like You've put a lot of work. Like I feel like you know, literally sweat, heart, and tears. Okay, into a relationship, into a work project, into a situation. And I feel like at times you felt that you could not go on. At times you felt like this is not my path. This is too much. This is too hard. I'm not really sure how much I can go. How much further I can go with this. And then I feel like you know life throws you a lifeline, and you're getting recognition. You're getting some type of a confirmation that it is on your right path, and so you're moving forward with it. Okay, there will be periods of self doubt. Okay, with this Devil card, it's negative self talk, thinking we're not good enough, thinking what if, what if the other shoe drops, thinking like oh this is you know this this is.、Um, It, wishful thinking, it can't be real, and then we have as well the Temperance card, and the Temperance card. This is the angel, and this is the devil. This is pretty much about balancing out these negative thoughts with the positive thoughts. Okay, so balancing out these two sides of yourself, 
whenever you see the negative thoughts creep in, you want to be, you want to kind of like douse yourself with that dose of reality. Like, oh no, it's really coming in. It's already here, and so that you don't mire yourself in this、uh, negative space. Okay, so I feel as if you have a lot of、uh, work that you have to do. Pisces, it's going to be a very dynamic month. You have、uh, so many good things coming in for you, and I feel like you know there's a major wish fulfillment here when it comes to you know getting recognized, finally getting recognized for the person that you are, the lover that you are, the kind, loving, nurturing person that you are. Someone is really appreciative and finally recognizing that about you. And then I also feel like you know, for the actor, the the artist, the creative spirit that you are, I feel like you're getting some major recognition here. Okay, the spotlight is really on you, and you're going to be feeling very much ecstatic for this month. I'm really happy to see this for you, and I hope everything comes out、um, in the way that you envision. And I do wish you all the best. Okay.、Um, I have a I have two links in the description box below. One is for a、uh, an artist. She's based out of California. If you're interested in artwork and perusing some artwork, I highly recommend that you click on her link. And she takes commission work as well, I believe. And then I also have another link for a、um, psychic out of California. I'm no longer giving readings. But、um, I've been, you know, siphoning clients and telling clients to book a reading with her, and they've been very, very happy with her services. And I highly recommend her. Her link is also in the description box below. I wish you all the best for this month and for the rest of this year, Pisces. Take care of yourself, and I will be back for April. Okay, bye bye.